Hello and welcome along. There's another tip tutorial from tipsquirrel.com. As always, I should remind you that I'm not a Photoshop trainer, but I do like to pass on any tips and tricks that I've learned along my way. OK, today I'm going to be looking at this group of icons down here. There's four of them in total under the title of Lock. Now, to set this up, I've got two layers. First of all, one that says Tippy on it, and the second one, which is just a plain white background layer. OK, so let's have a look at each one of these icons in turn. And the first one we're going to look at is called Lock Transparent Pixels. OK, I'm not going to click on it just so we can see what happens when it's not selected. I'm going to press Shift and Backspace and you can see that my Fill dialog box is already used 50% grey, which is what I want to do. So I'm going to press Enter on the keyboard and the whole layer fills with a 50% grey, as you might expect. Control Z to get rid of that. Now this time I'm going to click on my icon and we've locked the transparent layers, uh, transparent pixels, pardon me. And if we take away the background, you'll see that where you can see the checkerboard, that's transparent. So they've been locked. Let's go Shift and Backspace, hit Enter again. And as you'd expect this time, only those pixels that aren't, trans aren't transparent have been filled because the transparent ones are locked. OK, we're going to come back to this one in just a minute, but for now let's move on to the next one along. And this one is called Lock Image Pixels. OK, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to get a paintbrush and I'm going to try and paint on this layer. And as you can see, could not use the brush tool because the layer is locked. And just to help us out, the icon changes to a no entry kind of sign as well. Now I can try any kind of these painting type of tools and I'm not going to get anywhere. However, I will be able to transform my layer and I'll also be able to move my layer quite happily. OK, I'm going to Control Z to get back to where I was. Control Alt Z rather because I'm backspacing more than one. OK, so we can't paint but we can move take that one off go to the next one lock position we're quite the reverse we can't move but we can paint now we can see that we can do quite a nice little painting on that one um, now you can the reason why you can see through it is that the opacity of the the paintbrush is set at 45 percent okay control z to backspace on that now i can use two in combination here to utilize that brush that's only 45% as luck can we'd have it and I'm going to lock the transparency so that means now that I can only paint on the gray areas because the rest is transparent and I can't move it so here I go I'm going to just give it a quick little paint and you can see that I'm just quickly going around it okay and a bit down there if you've watched any of my tutorials before, you'll know that once I start fiddling, I don't stop. OK, I'm going to choose a white brush this time and just highlight some of those. OK, so you can see that I'm quite happily working on these layers, or on this layer, but I'm not affecting the layer below it or any of the other pixels around it because I've locked the transparency of that one. OK, once again, shift and oh, and if of course, if I'd accidentally clicked on the move tool, I wouldn't be able to move it either. It is locked in position. OK, shift and backspace, 50% grey. Let's go back to where we were. Easy as that because we've got the transparency locked once again. OK, now I'm going to take all those off. And I'm going to take away my tippy layer and make a new layer. And on this new layer, make a rectangular marquee. And in the marquee, black to white. I'm going to make a gradient which is actually black to transparent. I'm going to start a little way in and stop a little bit short. Hold down the shift key to keep it nice and straight. And the reason why I started in and finished early was so that we got this nice big block of black and a big block of transparent. I'm going to control D to deselect my marquee there. Now you can see that there are varying degrees of transparency on this. And we've locked, if we lock the transparency, which we have now, and I'm going to choose a different colour, a nice bright red perhaps. And this time I'm going to shift backspace 
and something I don't usually do, but I'm going to use the foreground color and click OK. You can see we put the red on and it has kept the same transparency. Just because there was pixels filled on it doesn't mean it's just going to splodge it down. It keeps the same transparency as it was originally. So that means I can change that color as often as I like and no difference whatsoever. I'm going to press Alt and Backspace this time just to fill it with the foreground color. And each time I keep that transparency a very handy little tool to know. So there we go, those are the th those three. There's one more to deal with, and if I go back to my tippy layer, and I click on the last one, it says lock all. And so, all of these are now in effect. I can't move it, I can't paint on it, and uh, the transparency is locked because I can't paint on it anyway, but everything is locked. That is a very handy thing if, if that layer is finished with, if you click on lock, there's no way that you can ever change that layer um, when you didn't mean to. Okay, there we go. That's lock sorted out. For more information uh, on all manner of things Photoshop, go to tipsquirrel.com where you'll find some extraordinary writers that actually know what they're doing. From me, for now, thanks very much for watching. Come join us. Let us know what you think. Blog at tipsquirrel.com is the email where you can find me on Twitter under the name Tip Squirrel.